Here's an expanded video of the teaser I put up a couple of weeks ago. So this was my lady with a fairly huge Veruca sub-second metatarsophalangeal joint which I'd done a bilobe flap for. So I just put a teaser up. So here's a few more stills and a short video coming up from uh, yesterday. So this is her in 32 weeks ago. You can see she's all kind of prepped and draped. She's had a chlora prep, slightly orange. Do these in theatre as a rule because I've got good assistance and just in case I need to be a bit more aggressive, I can be. So we start off and we take the whole lesion out. So this comes out as mostly a circle. Um, at the bottom left edge, it's a 90 degree cut to allow rotation of the first flap. And you'll see from the other video I linked to the teaser how to do a bilobe flap. So there's a little close up view. So if you see bottom left, it's actually a, it's a 90 degree cut. And then you've got A, that's the lesion that comes out. B goes to A, C goes to B. Here's the lesion coming out. As you can see, it's quite the brute. It was really deep. Um, been there for years, was very sore. And hopefully now by removing it, it will stay away. As always, we take the lesion out. You can see there, top correction. Bottom left, it's a 90 degree cut. That goes off to, where does it go? It goes off to histo. To confirm now this is a kind of a close-up now of the closure so again from the teaser I linked in a, an older video I've done on how to do a bilobe flap in terms of an A B and C so C goes to B B goes to A and A closes so you don't need to get the, the the edges absolutely opposed but for a big lesion um, I was really pleased with that closure so here we are now, this is two weeks later, this was yesterday, and I'm really pleased with this. So the, the, the vascularity of the flap is good, and I've got a little video with my lady coming up just talking about what to do at week two. Now, so this was the lady that we did a couple of weeks ago, so we, this is our bio flap. Sorry about that, I'm just smiling then. Sorry about the camera wobble viewers. So this is where the lesion was. So that was A. There was B and there was C. So we've done a primary closure at C. C's gone to B, B's gone to A, and A's gone in the B. In fact, we've literally just had the histo report now. And then there's a little tiny one there. So we are two weeks out. I'm going to have a little look, see if we can take some of those stitches out. I generally leave stitches in a little bit longer, so it's got longer to really hold in, which I think I probably do. And then what we'll do... I think we'll do change of dressing, keep, yeah, do you know what, I'm going to keep those stitches in, I think. I like to keep stitches in underneath really three or four weeks just to really allow them to heal because otherwise they can kind of dehiss. What's really pleasing is just the, the, the vascularity of the flap. It's done really well, really well. Right, I'm going to stop that video there. We'd had the histo report back that day, confirmed it was a Veruca, no surprise there. I'd ummed and ahed because the lesion was actually doing much better healing-wise than I'd expected. So I was half tempted to take a, a few sutures out. But do you know what? Stick with the plan. I typically leave plantar stitches in for three to four weeks. That thicker skin takes time to heal. Take it out early and you might get some dehiscence. So she's going to be back in two weeks' time for stitches out. I'll do another video and a longer one at three months if I, uh, if I can.